It looks like a completely normal house building, but it's not. This is a unique experiment. In this climate smart house of the future, a completely normal family will soon move in in order to, over a period of six months, investigate whether the emissions of greenhouse gases can be dramatically reduced. Today we emit about seven tonnes per person per year. The goal is that the family that moves into the house at the beginning of next year will be able to reduce emissions down to only one tonne per year and even so live a completely normal life. At Vattenfall, which is one of the parties involved in this One Ton Life project, they have great expectations. Vattenfall as an energy company is of course working a lot with energy efficient solutions. And with this product we get the possibility to show how you, in your daily life, can actually be much more energy efficient. Yet Wiengård, who designed the Climate Smart House, has had to think along somewhat different lines when he has united modern design with an energy efficient solution that works during all seasons of the year. The ambition was to make the most out of the most common plants that are made in, uh, by surveyors in Sweden. And they usually stipulate a two-story building with a pitched roof. Uh, it could be just one story building with a pitched roof. So we tried to maximize what we could get with that sort of um, footprint and the section. And so the building is rather square, allowing for a small perimeter in order to not uh, have the heat uh, loss too big. And then it's characterized by being in black and white, taking the cue of the black from the solar panels, which are in the southern face of the building and on top of the pitched roof. And in contrast, there is an entry porch in white. And we also shade basically the windows, which are the most vulnerable parts of the elevations with these black boxes, which adds to nice graphic design. I think it's a, it's a bit like uh, eye shades on a pretty woman. For Aarhus, who are responsible for the actual construction, it has also been a challenge to already at this point present what will be a considerably more energy efficient home of the future and at the same time achieve a construction that satisfies tomorrow's considerably tougher building norms. This house will in fact generate more green electricity than it consumes, strange as that might sound. Here there are both solar cells and solar panels that provide hot water and electricity for the small amount of heating that is required. The solar cells on the roof generate clean electricity for additional heating, ventilation and for the fridge and freezer. The idea is also that the excess production of electricity from the solar cells will charge the family's electrically powered Volvo C30, which becomes completely free from carbon dioxide emissions when it is charged with electricity generated from a renewable source. I think first of all we will uh, of course see how the car behaves, that's a very important part, technology part of it, and then of course the family. How will the family use an active family uh, which have you know, children, they maybe have animals, maybe a dog or something like that, how will they use the car in an everyday life? And, and also in a suburban climate. So that is something that we need to, that we need to know much more about today. And, and I think that's the, probably the major part. And of course, uh, we are early when it comes to electrification of cars at Volvo, and we are very proud of that. So, you know, breaking new ground is important, but we need to know that everything we do is right. What is certain is that the One Ton Life project will be exciting to follow, and it will be most exciting, of course, for the family that moves in here after Christmas.